Ruachino of Team Envious, uh, who just beat Ghost Gaming. So you guys had two narrow games in games two and three uh, against Ghost Gaming. What do you think you could have done better? Uh, in game two, I think we could have started out better. We went down 0-3 really fast. And, like, it was kind of our fault. I felt like we just, like, we weren't into it at first. Like, we kind of started the game, and we just went along, and then we are like, we know what they do. Like, we just need to, like, do what we should do, you know? And I feel like that really helped us, and I think we won six rounds in a row after that. So that's pretty good. And then in game three, we started up 1-0, and we were trying to make a play on their flag for another one. But what ended up happening is, like, we ended up giving our flag, and somebody snuck by, and that's how they got a cap to tie it. Then after that, it was literally just, like, we were on bad side, second side. So it was just us just trying to not give up anything to them and just get a flag eventually, you know? Mm -hmm. So you guys are about to play Evil Geniuses. They're going off of back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back sweeps. Does that concern you going into your matchup? No, really. I feel like we're a really good team in all three game modes right now. So, like, if it should be a really good game. Like, if they're playing at their best and we're playing at our best, like, I, I could see that going game five, if anything. Like, they're a good team when they're actually prepared. And this is the biggest event to be prepared for, so it should be a good one. You went from TK to Team Envious. Uh, do you feel like you have a better chemistry with the members of Team Envious? Mm, I don't know if I would say that. I'd say it's probably about the same. Like, I, I, I really got along with everybody on TK. Like, I, I knew uh, Accuracy and Lamar really well. Like, I teamed with them before, and then Kenny was, like, a new guy that I knew he just he got along with everybody. Everybody had a lot of nice things to say about him. Mm -hmm. So, like, with them, I got along really well, and it was just a good time. And then even when I joined this team, I knew Classic and Hugh forever. So, like, it was just, like, clicked right away with them. And then JT was, like, the new guy, our decimate. And uh, he's really chill. Like, he he helps, like, you whenever he feels like you could have done something different. He's not afraid to, like, speak his mind, which is good. So, yeah, I'd say it's about the same. I, I, think, uh, I think we just get along really well. All right, so last question. You travel all around the world <laughs> playing COD for hours on hours on end. What does Chino do to unwind and get away from it all? When I unwind, I usually just play other games. I'm, I'm a really big gamer, so, like, I like to play League of Legends. I like to play single-player games. Like, I recently just finished uh, Kingdom Hearts, the first one, not too long ago. Yeah, so I'm, probably that's what I'm going to be doing in the off-season, too, just trying to grind through, so like, single-player games that I can't play whenever I'm grinding Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you, Chino. Yeah, no problem. Good luck. Thank you. Woo!